So, the question has come up recently. Are atheists arrogant? And it's been put to me, and actually I've had atheists, you know, do some self-examination, and they've asked themselves this. Are atheists considered arrogant? And they've come to the conclusion that they are considered arrogant. And they wonder why. Well, here is the thing, okay? There is a difference between personally arrogant, first of all, and positionally arrogant. Now, I know a lot of atheists now. I deal with them on Twitter all the time. And as a personal quality, are they arrogant? Not necessarily. They can be, sure. There are arrogant atheists, just like there are arrogant everything. But as a personal quality, is it something you find more often in atheists than not? No. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of atheists that I know who are personally very, very humble and nice. As, as you know, as human beings, they aren't arrogant in the slightest. They, they exude humility. So what is the problem? The problem is positionally. Positionally, it is an arrogant position vis-a-vis -vis the cosmos, vis-a-vis -vis the world we live in, vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, the big questions of life. Now, one of the things that gets, that gets confusing about this is atheists have taken upon themselves of late to define atheism in ways that are really, really slippery and fake and aren't really atheism. All atheism means is I lack a belief in God. Well, no, that's not really all atheism means. That's a, that's a very, very loose, generalized, you know, definition of atheism intended completely to make it easier to defend in a debate. That's the only reason you're defining it that way. And that's really obvious and really annoying and really kind of obnoxious. Okay, and if you don't see that, therein lies some arrogance right there. It'd be, for example, you say, hey, Craig, you're a Christian. You're a theist, right? Yes, I'm a theist. Well, what is that? That means you believe in God. Well, no, not technically. It means you can't prove that God doesn't exist. Do you see how annoying that would be? It would be really obviously a fake, loose, slippery definition of Christianity or theism to make it easier to defend and debate. That's what atheists have now taken upon themselves to do. It breaks down like this. This is very simple and this is the truth. Okay, this is how it works. Hey, Craig, you're a theist? Yes. Does God exist? Yes. Boom. Simple. Not so easy to defend in a debate, but the truth. Yes, I believe he exists. Hey, you, Luigi, yeah. You're an agnostic? Yes. Does God exist? I don't know. <laughs> F if I know. Okay, fair enough. Now, there's no argument there that an agnostic is arrogant. And that's really easy to defend in a debate. That's why atheists try to, you know, pwn, latch on to them for the purposes of def defining themselves. Now let's go to the atheist. Hey, you, Matt Dale hunting. Yes. You're an atheist? Yes. Does God exist? No. Boom. Does God exist? No. You aren't kind of, sort of, not defining whether God exists, you are actually defining saying he does not. It's not quite so easy to defend in a debate that way, but that is also the truth of the position. Unless you're agnostic. If you're an agnostic atheist, I don't know, but I lean towards no, that's different. But that's also slippery of definition in an attempt to make it easier to defend. It is not a fair tactic. The, the debate that we are having, I the Christian versus you the atheist, you say he doesn't exist, I say he does. We, we need not play semantic games to make it, you know, I, now I have to prove it or to switch the burden of proof. Okay, we don't have to play semantic games. And positionally, whether you recognize it or not, most people think that position is arrogance. That's where the problem comes from. Personally, you usually aren't all that arrogant. Some of you are, again, some of you are, you know. Uh, some of your more public ones, Richard Dawkins certainly is arrogant. He, like, exudes arrogance. But there are tons of atheists I know on Twitter who are actually really humble people. And they, do, they don't have any personal arrogance.